of falling interest rates for home mortgages uh, has led to a recent boom in refinancing. But with rates bouncing just a little bit off their historic lows lately, many homeowners may be wondering if it's too late to get into the game. Sharon Epperson has some answers. Fed up with the amount of paperwork and time it can take to process an application to refinance a mortgage, many homeowners don't even try. And the Federal Reserve's continued promise to keep short-term rates near zero hasn't provided much incentive. I think there was uh, an understanding by homeowners, well, why do I have to do it now and get all that documentation together if rates are going to move? So if rates are going to stay flat for the next two to three years, I think they think that there's an opportunity for them to refinance at a later date. This may be part of the reason for the drop in the share of refinancing applications in the mortgage market, now at the lowest level since last spring. But many homeowners may not realize how much money they could save. Homeowners who could qualify but have not applied for lower refinancing rates are overpaying an average of $471 a month on their mortgages, based on an analysis by Credit Sesame, the consumer credit and loan company. That means, on average, households are potentially foregoing more than $56,000 in savings over 10 years. Our analysis shows that in 2013, over 17 million households would qualify for refinancing at a lower rate. Over 4 million households are expected to refinance. That means one out of four people are going to miss out on a refinance and saving opportunity. To find out if you could refinance, check your credit score. If it's improved in the last few months, you could qualify for a better interest rate, especially if your score is 740 or higher. Even if you've lost equity in your home, you still may be eligible for the government's Home Affordable Refinance Program. As long as there's no second mortgage and your current loan, backed by Freddie Mac or Fannie Mae, is less than 80% of the value of your home. Has your income dropped? As long as you have some income and you've managed to stay current on your loan, you also may qualify for a HARP loan. But to be sure refinancing makes sense, you need to figure out how long it will take you to break even. How long will it take your total monthly savings to exceed the closing costs? If you plan to stay in the house at least that long, then refinancing likely makes sense. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Sharon Epperson.